Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And today we're going to be focusing on public transport system. Right, a couple of things I wanted to cover. Uh, just let me real quickly check this out. I have a document I want to open because I made a list. You know the lists everybody likes the lists no not really um okay we have a couple of requests which are pretty uh, sensible and understandable we're gonna pause this uh, actually they're quite atrocious but uh, sure sure I'll, I'll do it <laughs> uh the uh, gui size of course i agree that gui size i love big gui i love big gui i don't have eyesight problem at least i don't think i do but uh okay this is the biggest one we can have i can see jumping to 130 percent and then not custom buoy size uh sure sure and can we go back to oh wow okay that sounds like fun okay okay i, I have um two five what's my monitor resolution i have between normal and 4g uh, 4k sorry uh, um, so it's somewhere in between and i think this is causing some of the issues uh, like you know i work for for this company and i got dell monitor uh, and uh, it was a little bit affordable because you know stuff we can get a little bit it's like 10 percent 15 percent and something was on sale additional that well yada 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 and i would get this kind of monitor uh, quite affordably and it was like less than 200 euros or something for a brand new monitor which is uh two what's it called uh, uh 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 qhd something like that i don't know the the uhd or whatever ultra high definition yeah, yeah something like that i i had 4k monitor i, I just it was just cheap crapo and literally was not ideal uh, i'll say a word or two about the gui i'm gonna say straight away that um, there are a lot of issues with the gui first of all it's imposing it kind of separates you from the whole game it's not something on the side that you can uh, just you know uh, ignore it looks like um, a visor from star trek not visor sorry the 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 screen in star trek on the bridge when they're looking at something it's like you're surrounded by these options on all sides it kind of disconnects you from the game uh it's not like before that you have a little bit of a you know uh, on top here the choice and then on the side you have some kind of it, it's not it's imposing i think gui is not perfect i like colored options i like separation here i like a lot of a lot of things about the gui uh, but i would like to move it as well i would like to remove some stuff for example can i is it possible to move stuff around um doesn't look so look when you go around you can, you can see straight separation from your uh options from the screen you, sh you usually see that as well but you don't have the limitations on the screen on the side now you do you literally know okay this is how much you see previously you had like a oh look this is the world these are the options but now it's not so it's kind of it's kind of narrow down and you see one of the <laughs> things that's happening there with the truck all the way in the back but i'll feel we're gonna address that issue uh right so what i wanted to say a couple of things i wanted to do is uh no importing nuclear fuel okay first things i wanted to show is um is uh for mr moore this is uh i should have done this much better and uh, hopefully this is not gonna be a little bit imposing but i think i we should i think oh crap is it too loud let me see the settings okay for you guys maybe not so much for me it might be a oh, pause this is Murmansk, not the best view because it's raining, probably would be... Whoa, that looks quite nice. Okay, let's uh, move away, this is just the ambulance. Do we have a delivery truck? Let's see if we have a delivery truck coming in here. Buses, buses, this is what we need. We need bus coming back to Murmansk and then the sun is shining now. Uh, right, suddenly none of the buses are going to Murmansk. Wow. Uh, where are you going? This one is going to Customs House. No. Really? He brought steel. I told him to bring cars. He brought steel. I have... I'm out of work. I have no work. 6.8 tons of steel? Where did you get this number from? 
That's quite interesting. This is the... Tr oh, is that the steel that was on there already? Oh, it could be. It could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably just on the way now. I'll remove the steel and see what he comes back with. Just as a joke. Just as a fun. I, I'm 100% sure that this is not going to work uh, in a good way for us at all. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what I wanted to cover here is find a bus. Where are you going? Murmansk bus station. There we go. This is a bus that we need. We need a bus that's going to show us the beauty of Murmansk. Control G and space. Oh, uh, previously when you turn off the GUI with Control G, you couldn't pause the game. Now you can because I noticed, wow, this looks beautiful. I love this. This is Slavhala. Slavic Valhalla. Um, definitely. I would mow the grass a little bit more if possible. It would be nice to, to do stuff like that. It looks a little bit too wild. It should look a little bit cleaner. So this is what Murmansk is. Unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever you want to call it, I will stop right now. Just, uh, well, I could have gone and see how, how it goes through the city, uh, through the bus stop. But um, unfortunately, slash fortunately, uh, Murmansk has only one road. Oh, right, 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 right. I have a great idea. So this is Murmansk uh, through the eyes of a tram driver. I think this is going to be amazing. There we go. This is a train slash rail tour. Yeah, we had those. My hometown where I used to go to college had those train tours. Yeah, this uh, mud path here. Uh, you see, this is this is this pile of dirt here is one of the reasons what we why we I need to do a little bit more terraforming before placing stuff. Uh, it's this. Uh, it looks a little bit weird, but I'm quite proud. I know that it might not be the most effective uh, public transport system uh, in the in the Republic, but um, I'm proud of it. I mean, like it would be easier if they had. It would be nicer, nicer, easy, more effective if they had um, if they had dual way stations and they can because we have quite few trams here but uh, this is perfect as well i'm quite whoa look at this <laughs> looks so urban uh, it does miss a couple of trees there i definitely and there's a couple of paths that we need to upgrade uh gravel thing is nice i think i would prefer grass thing uh, just because i think it's more 21st century thing and i like it i like when you know people are using any surface to plant you know plants especially if it's tasteful and nice it doesn't have to be too artificial you know i like wild stuff too but it also doesn't have to be too wild you know a little bit of artificial is nice no, not artificial grass but like you know mowed grass that's not too natural uh and here we go we are going back to the last station uh let's pause here let's see what we have uh let it stop Look at this. This is perfection. Let's let's go outside of this. This is perfection. This is public transport system. If you need to go there, you can go there. Unfortunately, our people don't react the same way as they do in uh, in skylines. They don't have kind of will of their own. They come to the station. They need one thing, and they are waiting for a vehicle to provide them with that one thing. Um, so. Uh, if we don't, if the vehicle doesn't provide them or it doesn't stop where they need the, the thing that they need, like church and stuff. Um, it, it's bad for them, uh, or they're just gonna have this thing missing. You see the terraforming thing that I was saying, talking about? Yeah, this kind of stuff we need to pay more attention to. But anyway, this is uh, bygone times. The next thing we would probably want to check out, uh, we have a couple of fuel issues here. Now this guy here all the way in the back uh, is going back from the border. Actually, Wawitsa, didn't I tell you to unload everything? Large customs house. He should be unloading. Uh, no, 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 no. Unloading. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I, this this was just a plan for him to go somewhere. Uh, what I'm going to do with him, I'm going to put him in a storage just for a moment. We will implement something like this, but obviously the path he's taking is not ideal. So um, what I can do here, I can, you know what, I'll, I'll take care of this vehicle later on. Hopefully, or we're gonna forget about him. Just leave him here and forget about him. And it wouldn't be the first time. Small distribution office. Again, forgot what this is for. Fuel. If not, this is something that we that I should really, really, really do. Uh, it would be fueling. I need to put fuel in every distribution office. Anything that needs fuel, I should be distributing this. So I should be building more distribution offices. Should I use this for that? Why the hell not? Um, will I do it now? No, we have other things to do. 
Sitom, uh, St. Thomasburg, the namesake city of yours, uh, is probably going to be uh, one of the crown jewels in the end. It, it's probably not going to be the biggest city that we have, but it's definitely going to be uh, one of the nicer looking cities. It has three. Look at this imposing. I, I won't do the truck tour now. I just wanted to show you this. Um, what I noticed before that it has this uh, a, a ridge over here. And when you pass this ridge, you have this city looking at the city uh, from above. We can build a road or something a little bit higher here. And, but look at the city. I mean, like this is not Finished. We have a couple of well, many more things that we need to finish. For example, straightening this bridge because it doesn't look too straight. Um, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. It looks nice. And the last entrance, I probably should have done this with vehicle. But um, look at this. When you go through this canyon, canyon trip, like uh, like Mr. Moore said, canyon trip would be also really nice. When you go through this uh, ever so slightly shallow channel. Um, and you enter behind a channel canyon and then you come into this open uh, uh, open city of ours well open it, it's at the edge of the valley and then you start entering the great valley <laughs> the central valley uh, on the other side uh, going to the city uh, from Nissesburg, you would first see the chimneys of the industrial zone but also university all the way in the back uh, we have some construction happening here. That's probably just the street lights being built, uh, installed here. Big crane for a small job like that. And then after you get through the industrial zone overpass here, uh, you get the whole beauty of the city and the industry zone, industrial zone that serves it. Okay. Um, uh, nuclear fuel. This is the quick thing that we're going to talk about and do something about before we start here. I wanted to. Do, I don't even know if we have anything like this in here, but I will check it right now. We have the van vanilla ones, but okay. Well, let, let's let me be more clear. I want to start producing nuclear f fuel now, like import whatever we need to to produce nuclear fuel, and I don't mean uranium ore because um, I'm probably gonna go and uh, have a coffee. Right, continuing on, uh, we spoke about tourism previously, we're going to speak about tourism this time as well. Uh, yeah, it would be quite nice and a stable influx of uh, money uh, to our country. And uh, probably I'm, I'm finding it easier to to actually immerse myself in tourism, uh, both domestic and foreign. I, by domestic, I mean like building uh, tourist uh, structures around the cities, potentially even connecting them with, with each other. I don't think that makes much difference but uh, we still can do stuff like that also uh, we spoke in the comment section as well about the tourism red star legion um, mentioned uh, 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 this and uh, yeah i think it's quite viable and good thing to do uh, that we should consider tourism we started kind of thinking about this uh, tourist um, uh, hillside resort that we can that we could build here uh, story time story time I read recently how um, how country uh, uh, Pyongyang in this case uh, sorry Pyongyang North Korea uh, build some tourist uh, uh, vacation spot on the coast like why would you build that well why wouldn't you build that I mean like your people can use it and as well you can attract like who wouldn't go to a, a North Korean water park? I would. I would go there straight away to see how, how you know, I, I would enjoy that. So why wouldn't Soviet Alaska build ski resort? Why wouldn't we? I mean, like, we are industrial powerhouse. There's basically next to no tourism. And then, bam, we get Dubai or something like that. But 10 times better. 10 times better. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't pay good money to have this kind of view? Oil fields call of the motherland whale tier i mean like come on trifecta right uh, that's one other thing that we're gonna start on slowly slowly i probably speed this up uh, and i'm gonna create a couple of uh, well you know what let's i i started we were starting with this bridge we're gonna continue building this road i think this road is will be finished with automation uh, what the hell is this trolley bus lines did i do this intentionally you know what? Not a bad idea. The trolley bus lines from the, from Babushkino. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. No, no. no let's let's leave it like this for now. I'll leave it. Uh, <clears throat> you know what? I'll we'll think about it. Let's remove this so they don't build actually trolley bus lines and. Uh, 
and let's see what else we can build uh, build here. So increase the size of the GUI. Um, uh, oh, right, right, right. Oh, starts, things, things, things. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Uh, actually, we did set, I did a mistake over here, not mistake. I was testing something out to see if we can import stuff. And I set this uh, to be an import um, uh, import location from the border crossing and uh, looks like it didn't have any effect. We have five plus three, that's eight vehicles and we have uh, eight vehicles in here. So uh, none of the vehicles actually went to the border, but we, what we did, we set the imports to happen from the border. Well, we have imports from here. I mean, like distribution from local uh, area, but also from the border, which is not good. Okay, now, important part. Actually, I think I got myself deep, neck deep into this pool. So I think I'm going to have to uh, unwind my head a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I had a clear picture of what I needed to do. I know what I need to do. I just uh, had much more enthusiasm about what we're going to do now. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is talk about what the topic of this video is, is the public transport system. So you can see we have five different pages, five freaking pages of public transport. Rarely they are uh, named so this is this is how i roll this is how we roll uh we roll uh, with thread the the some path dangerous dangerous paths um i'm gonna start fixing this i'm gonna change a couple of things as well so we had uh we're gonna deal with the whale tier first well, i don't know how far we're gonna get we might jump from city to city but whale tier is uh interesting interesting uh, showcase because we had so many bad things happen around here that uh, it's incredible i mean like uh, caused by us not caused by anybody else so caused by me uh, we have a couple of bus stops, a uh, trolley, uh, sorry, bus stops over here, over here, and all the way on the other side. I don't think all of our people have access to the public transport system. As you can see, no. A couple of these guys are 140. Really? That many people? Okay, that's strange. Um, so what's this? Uh, allow citizens without education to move in. All ah, right, this is moving in or, or not moving in. This is... Uh, uh, this is the, the option for, you know, interesting. Um, I spoke with uh, Vicom in the Discord uh, concerning this, that I think it could be buggy in the beginning. I don't know if it is. I don't think we can still make a choice about this. But, you know, creating new buildings and uh, straight away, let's see how the new building looks like. If we go for a new building that we have under construction. Oh, right. I probably should set this for construction as well. Uh, here, can you choose, not if I'm even finished... Uh, can you choose if people can... Yeah, here we go. So, uh, this allow people from moving in. Um, I, I don't really care about this at the moment. We can make, you know, only... High, that doesn't matter. No, 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 that's fine. Any, anybody can move in here. I'm, I'm going to give my best for uh, to, to have our people educated. Also, the public transport system uh, can be put in... Well, let's call it production. Um, we can do... You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is a fresh, br fresh start, fresh, brand new. Ah, oh, son of a. Um, yes, fresh new, and we didn't build the uh, road vehicle depot. That's fine. That's fine. Nuclear, uh, nuclear one. Off you go. Go and build this depot. Right. Back to the public transport system. So, uh, I was always trying to find a way to have you know that everybody has access to everybody i always was for freedom of our people to use whatever tra public transport it needs to be used but it could be that the system doesn't work that way so what we have here at least at least as far as i understand we have uh three or four different uh, systems the different um, uh, transit systems here or or jesus Wow, uh, nine. <laughs> Murmansk Express. So let's see. Uh, Wealthier new coal. Wealthier new coal uh, is something that needs to be here. Okay, so Wealthier new coal is this one. That's perfect. It needs to bring people from the from there to coal plants. Okay, no problem. Uh, a little bit too many of them. Wealthier new coal. Really, five vehicles. Uh, 
Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Oh, this could be a little bit of a problem. This could be too much. The system needs to work perfectly fine, but we can't throw people at it. So what's the problem? The problem is when you have 30 people working in there and there's another 30 people just arriving any second now. And they're not going to find job in there. And that's a problem for now. You know what? For now, I will uh, resolve this. So let's go one more time and find this system. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, that would be under here. So if we go to this and open related vehicles, uh, related lines, we have whale tier new call. Perfect. Um, it would be nice if I double clicked on it that it works, but this is fine too. Let's find the vehicle. Oh, crap. Uh, this is. I, I think I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, let's go. What the hell just happened? Why did it close the whole window? Escape. Why? 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 It look. It's ah. Ah, my bad. Okay, they changed this. I need to. Uh, if I need to click only once. Okay, that's fine. So we have this vehicle here that is absolutely not necessary anymore. You can go, and four vehicles delivering people here during the winter. I think it's too much. Uh, heading to heating plant. Uh, this is whale tier bus. Which one has the least people? They have a little bit of people, all of them. Yeah, let's let's retire two of them. I think two of them is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna leave two of them in well tier. Uh, what's it called? The line again? Ah, oh, bollocks. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just check the lines. Uh, this is absolute well tier new call. Uh, first of all, this is not well tier. This is and well tier. Uh, sure, sure, sure. I think we're gonna go with. Uh, is it abbreviation? The shortened? Okay. Well, tier new call. Uh, save changes. That's fine. Uh, get in. Only work. Well, everybody, but uh, only workers. That's fine. And yeah, tourists. Spies. Okay. So we have new well tier workers. Okay. What's this line? This line is new well tier workers. This is absolutely not necessary. We have a new well tier public, and this is going to be it. So we're going to have a new well tier public with four buses or well tier workers. You know what? Uh, and well tier. We're gonna shorten this up just to make it a little bit tidier. And well tier public save. They have how many? Four buses. This is more than enough. So that means uh, uh, save changes. Yes, escape. Then we have the uh, and well tier workers. So we have five buses here. This line is not necessary anymore. Um, I mean, like, uh, yes, this line absolutely is not necessary anymore. What I'm going to do is retire all these vehicles all the way here. This is the closest big vehicle depot that we have. And uh, can I just, do I have to do one by one. Uh, go all the way here. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. And go all the way here. Perfect. Uh, can I delete all stops? Yes, I can. Oh, I cannot save changes. Darn it. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Go away. Uh, the, the, the next thing we need to do is this new... Why am I closing this window? This is going to be important. Can I not close this window? Uh, the next thing would be a new whale tier workers uh, that we see here. To, well, we can delete the name line. Uh, XXX. Are we going to have the same lines with the same names? Yeah. Let's just name it. This is deadline. Uh, and then a new whale tier public uh, needs to have only public people uh, going there. So no workers, no workers. Uh, let's do the same. No workers anywhere. And let's just use it for public transport system. As a public transport system. Okay. Align spacing, enable it again. That's fine. Uh, yes, yes, it's people. It's fine. There we go. Nijin well, well tier public. Perfect. Uh, what we have? Fishing industry. Fishing industry has five vehicles uh, delivering. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. Uh, we're gonna name it and. Nizhny well tier fishing industry. That's much better. Uh, do we do this with people? We can. I don't think we ever gonna have uh, anybody here, but uh, let's check it. Uh, tourists, spies. What is this? 
Step out of the vehicle at this stop. Transfer point. Right. Okay. Right. It looks like handcuffs. <laughs> looks like handcuffs. I was like, what the hell is this? Right. Um, next thing, uh, what we're going to do is save these changes. That's fine. Uh, let me just real quickly do this. Okay. Uh, one more thing. We need to remove nothing, nothing, everything is fine here. Okay, next one, Food Express. What the hell is Food Express? Okay, Food Express is one of those lines also that we um, that we implemented as an emergency uh, supply of people to Galask. So let's see where it goes. Goes all the way here to produce actually Meat Express. Do we still need this line? Uh, the efficiency line length is 10 kilometers. Spacing length... Uh, hoo -hoo -hoo. I think I want to try to leave it still. How many people are just 85? That's a lot of people. No, 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 no. I think we're going to stop with this. Uh, it could be a problem then. Do we have any meat issues here? No, storage is full. Um, how many workers? Full. Okay, that, that's a lot of that's a lot of people. Okay, so we're going to retire these uh, these buses. We're going to retire them slowly. I'm going to put them in the same location over here. So we're going to have four buses and we're going to retire this line. Uh, of course you will. Uh, retire this one. Let's go with this one. And the last one. Okay, rename this line because we can't. Can we cancel? Can we? I can delete. Yeah, I can. Uh, three X's. Can I do this? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Really? What? Really? Eight of them? Did I actually have eight buses here? Oh boy. That's interesting. No, it's not eight buses. What the hell is this? Okay, I have no idea what's happening here. Okay, let's remove this. Is this? No, if I pin it, it's the, you, you can still close it when it's pinned. Depot, deep. Uh, are they in it? I, I don't know. They could be the same. No, that's not the same buses that I retired from before. Okay, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's set to be the deleted the line. I'll, I know how to get the line. New well tier fire service. Okay, we have another one. Uh, new well tier fire service. And uh, yes, I know this one. This one is going to be gone because soon we're going to do. Oh, we probably already did. Let's let's see. Where where is the new new well tier fire service? Uh, vehicles again and new well tier fire service. Okay, line goes from here to nowhere. Haha. <laughs> uh, they're already in the depot. So let's go another one. XXX. We like those letters. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, right. I need to put a second. Wait, can I just delete everything? Oh, I can. Oh, I can't. Sure, sure, sure. Here's a second line because I'm pretty sure that this is going to be deleted soon. They're both uh, there and let's go for triple X. This is the action movie, nothing else. Shipyard. Uh, this is this is a new line that we implemented. And this is something that we're going to be doing over here. Uh, and this is what brings us to these buses that we just sent to depot because we're gonna need more of them to work to do this to do this to work in the refinery um, The problem is that they will have to go to the refinery to unload all these people uh, It would be I think it's faster to get them here and we also have a power plant which is a little bit further away I can do this. This is this is not hard. So I can tell people from here. Oh, what about these industries? Oh, bulks. Uh, 45, 60, uh, 15, and 500. 45 and 60, that would be 105, 120. Compared to 500, this is 620 people that need to be delivered here. So what we can do is reinstate the stupidity that I just made is remove the, the, the welfare uh, workers line. Uh, that I can actually put. The problem is that we should have, uh, the plan was to have specialized lines delivering people directly to the factories. 
Fine, that's not a problem. But is there any sense of us having a bus to go from here all the way around these factories and then putting like say, 15 people here? And we need more than 15 people. And we need this working all the time. This and this and this and this. Damn it. I, I had this so clear in my head. It was so nice. I had so much fun with myself. And now, no, not so much. So what's happening here? We have bitumen export. Oh, right. I forgot to tell this, Mr. Manual. We're going to talk about this in a second. Uh, okay. So uh, re not refixing it. it. It's already being fixed. But uh, let's see the vehicle system here. And we have the one with the five buses. There we go. So you're going to go for... Uh, which one is this? Does it say which one is one, two, three? No. Okay, let's uh, delete this one. Okay, that was the first one. Okay, so let's go at the last one and assign first station here and then second station here. Okay, and now first two stations can be removed. Okay, save it. Okay, there we go. So we have worker line now and I can do this, 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 this and this and off you go. So we have these buses transporting. What is their capacity? So, ooh, why is it? Ah, right. Actually, I don't know. Uh, Nizhny Weltir, but where do we, where, okay. So where is this bus going now? Are they back on the line or are they going to a depot? Can I cancel them from going to the depot? Because heading to depot, Nizhny Weltir bus plot. What the hell? They're heading to depot. Okay, can you cancel depot? Maybe it has to go back to the depot in order for us to set it again. That, that's stupid. And line spacing, I can do this. We can, we can do the same over here. Interesting. Uh, let's try. Uh... Workers. Okay. So we have too many, too many. And we have a lot of industries here that require these people to work there. I wanted to put individual trucks going to individual industries. Oh, sorry, buses. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be working as easily as that. Oh, this one needs to be built. Monument. Alyosha. That's Mr. Uh, Bremerd is the one who made this Alyosha monument. Beautiful, beautiful monument. Bulgarian, I believe. Mon uh, not Mr. Bremerd. Uh, uh, the monument. Okay, coffee time. Oh, that's not sweet. Why isn't it sweet? I like sweet. Sweet-ish coffee. Swedish coffee. Uh, right. Uh, buses, buses, buses. Uh, what's happening over here? Why is this one not going here? This one needs to do... Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Why is this... Okay, can you... I have... What the hell is this? Okay. Uh, let me see if I can get to the bottom of this. So we have Nizhny Weltir, a uh, couple of stations that we implemented here. So Nizhny Weltir and Weltir, that would be uh, workers that could be experiencing this. Is you a worker? Yes. First couple of buses here, actually all of them except two, are are, are buses. So let's see if we can implement this. So how, how? what the hell is happening with this bus? Is he going to move? Okay, he's moving now. But what about the rest of them? Will they have issues? They should be moving as well. Can you go there? You cannot. Okay. I have no idea. If I try to move the line from him, he's going to be disconnected from the whole line. So now you can see here uh, workers. It has only four instead of five buses. And this is not how it's supposed to be. Can I just re -up No, you cannot reapply. All of them here. Well, this one doesn't have it anymore. So you can now go... Uh, stop going here. Can, look, they don't have the option to 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 be stopped. Like, uh, uh, we can go for Nizhny wealthier workers. They don't have option to be stopped. I mean, like uh, to stop them from going. Why is it switching from? 
look at this one so this one we would have to uh can we reapply again the I reapply what the line here no it's already assigned to this line but he cannot go anywhere so what i need to do is send these buses to a depot again for some reason for some reason like i'm being cocky here i'm like i, I don't understand how the game works and uh i'm straight away uh vehicles already assigned to this line this one is public this one is workers and suddenly this one stops this is wrong so this one needs to have um where is the the other one can you have the, yeah okay i forgot how i did this so you need to go to depot Now, what I need to do here is like this. Uh, Nizhny Wealthier Workers, this one is not functioning. He, he's not going anywhere. So we need to find this workers uh, bus that we had. We had it here. Uh, this is Nizhny Wealthier Workers. And then I have to go... I go... I, I don't... I, it's going to take some time to get used to this. So this one is important. This one cannot be closed. But I, you cannot block it from being closed. You can still close it. So we need to do this and... Rem Remove station. Perfect. Uh, where are you again? Ah, oh, forget. And then reapply this to this. And stop it from going to the... Okay. So you have a problem. Remove it. Okay. And now reapply the line. And stop him from going to depot. Wow. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know who to blame here. I mean, like, obviously, I, I'm, I'm a masochist, so let's blame myself, but, uh, ah, frig it off. This way, and click on it, and then unblock it. And this one is public. Okay, they should be working now. So we have workers being delivered here. Uh, I, You see what I try? I try to fix stuff and more problems happen. But this is not, I don't think this is me. I don't think this is me. This time, this time. Most of the pe most of the time I don't uh... most of the time I don't consider it to be me and uh, sometimes I'm really passionate about saying yes this is definitely not me while in return it actually is me um, but anyway anyway let's finish uh, setting these up and see what kind of more problems we can uh, we can cause here. Um, we go to our uh, lines. So let's see which ones are not functioning. So what's this? this uh, let's go with these X's that we're going to just remove them. Uh, shipyard. Uh, didn't we change this one? And dot. Well, tier. Shipyard. There we go. Uh, that's nice. Save this one. Perfect. And then we have this one. What the hell is this one? Uh, we have... Uh, the one coming from the bus stop to the university. Okay, this makes perfect sense. This is uh, N dot well, tier, uh, tier university uni. I hate word uni. I don't know why uni sounds really weird. I know a lot of people. I know it's gonna be a new hip. I, I'm, I'm gonna miss out on this on this thing uh need more vehicles yeah of course no line spacing uh right and murmansk express looks like this one doesn't exist anymore so murmansk express so let's remove these lines i'm gonna go and remove these lines real quickly so we should have x y z would be in the end so we're gonna have this one delete the line and then have this one delete the line and then murmansk express murmansk e here we go uh, stations 2, vehicles 0, remove. There we go. And then we have meat exports. We have a lot of these lines that are, have 0 trucks. I'm pretty sure I want to delete them. And I'm going to set them up if we need to. Okay, let's let this play for a while. Uh, Marcus Omi, do I have to? Okay, there, there we go. Uh, vehicles 0, livestock exports. Yeah, this, this has been gone for a while. Uh, do we have any zeros here? Here we go. Food exports, that's fine. Um, it would be 
Would it be nicer if we had these lines when they have zero vehicles just to disappear? Yeah, it could be complicated as well. Maybe I should watch what I'm deleting here. I mean, like, even if the emergency call, we still have that. Really? Where is you? All right, so we have still have coal. All right, this is coal being delivered here, but uh, there's a lot of coal being delivered here, and they're not waiting to be unloaded just not to block the traffic. And, um, oh, is this... Uh, no, it's not. I thought it was is it connected to a heating plant, but no, doesn't matter. Uh, I think that's uh, that's more or less it, what I wanted to do for 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 just in, for the beginning. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not over yet. Coal imports. Uh, let's remove that one. Then we have uh, Construction Express. Let's remove that one. Uh... Okay, no zeros. Here we go, a couple of zeros here. Uh, whale tier construction industrial, whale tier heating. Yeah, that's what this was the one that was uh, delivering people previously to the heating plant, the previous heating plant that we moved. And most of the lines now they have, um, they have already. Uh, well, they have trucks. We have coal ore import. Uh, yeah, this is this is the interesting line. I don't know what to do with this one. In real life, uh, if I am not as passionate about stuff as other people are. Also, I respect other people's fa passions. I will get a lot of haters now, but I will say this thing. I don't understand and or respect Formula One whatsoever. I don't see it. I, I used to watch it. I never enjoyed it, really. I was like, I don't know. Who was it? Kimi Raikkonen, I think, was my favorite. In Mercedes, was it? McLaren Mercedes when they were the same team. That's probably the last time I even watched it. Was he the one who was driving there? Anyway, I never I never understood the really like, you know, passion for the sport. It's just like alien vehicles driving around that you would never probably see on the main roads and just racing ring ring and the supporters, two hundred and fifty thousand people on the stadium in the Hungaro ring, just seeing a red line flash in front of them and like that's it, you know. Do that 40 times and yay, we have a winner. We support. I don't understand it. I, I, I know you can hate me. You you can hate me. You can uh, unsubscribe from the channel. Just honestly, some things I understand, but I respect that. Like if somebody likes Formula One, I don't think I will be buying beers and watching Formula One races anytime soon. I did like I tried to find passion in that, but I lost it. It's my problem. So anyway, some people have f um, uh, fun uh, in different ways. What I wanted to say is that we are feeding this industry with coal ore constantly, which is not a problem, which is actually quite a good thing because we're employing people. But there's no real uh, benefit to this. We, we do have coal uh, or being delivered here and the train waiting until unloaded and then this coal system over here feeding the this coal system feeding the storage for our heating plant sorry for our power plant heating is still wood fired so uh it's hold this in this this big store why the hell did i talk about formula one i told you i need i need i need, I need better brain i need not broken brain to 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 actually finish a thought Anyway, uh, I wanted to fix uh, the uh, fix the lines in Galask. Galask should have quite few lines, and it does. Galask has meat in Galask meat industries. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see what kind of line is that. So meat industries uh, buses are delivering workers here. Okay, we pumped it full of buses, but it is is it delivering enough people? Do we need more buses or do we need less of them? So, uh, who are you supplying with people? So, you have these industries that are still not operational. That's fine. That's understandable. We have even new bus stop for those people. But let's see these here. So, we have a slaughter. Do you have the... Yes, you have the alcohol production. So, we have alcohol production here, which is on minimum capacity uh, we have uh, that's 10 people 100 people and then we have two times 50 people that would be 100 uh, 210 people 210 people here and another 100 people here that would be 310 people times three that's a thousand people that need to be delivered here daily um, these guys have capacity of 80 people. That would be uh, meat industries, right? Did we start with that one? Galask meat industries. Uh, I don't 
think it's enough. 83, that would be 400. Maybe it is. What do you think, guys? Five buses, 80, 80 people each. They are 80 people each. This is 80. The other one is 83. And it's more, more or less 80 people each. So five times 80 would be, if you want to be more specific, it's 909, 409 people can be delivered with these buses each trip. Trip is not too far. So I think it's delivering enough people. I think this is delivering enough people. It's three shifts. It needs to deliver 900. So we are literally having a little bit less than half of the capacity of all these industries delivered in one go in like one line, well, like a few buses difference. Uh, are they full? Yeah, yeah. Glask meat industries, they are full. Okay, this seems to be a working fine. Uh, I would agree that this is fine. Okay, other specialized industries, we have food production. Let's go with, let's go a little bit. The food production here, I don't think even has a bus line uh, going there. We, we can, we can, if we need to. Maybe we should. We had food issues before. But we are running at the limit. This is something that we need to invest in the future in the expanding the food industry. Not expanding, not expanding, doubling. Doubling our food production. We need to do this. Uh, also, we're going to need to do something that uh, I know. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Most of you, most of you, including Stats, Mur, um, we, we, you will be excited to, to, to know that we will be building centralized food storage. Now, this is not going to be centralized food, food storage, period. No, no, no. This is going to be centralized food storage plus the biggest food production we have. This one is still having issues, really? Where are you going? Uh, fine. Let's just go and uh, retire you here there we go you happy now unblock my roads you abomination of a bus that's fine coffee time yeah i know i know this just shows us that we need more petrol station and removing this petrol station wasn't the smartest thing ever we needed to clean our act and it's clean now uh what do we need here we need mechanical components in order to for this to be finished um, I will take a break from uh, fixing our public transport systems. Uh, I will uh, talk about the other thing that I wanted to do here. It's another patch on an open wound that uh, a lot of you is not going to like. I, I know, I see you people who's not going to like this, but I'm still going to do it. Um, and you're right. I'm not saying that I'm not... Uh, that. Oh, wait a minute. Really? Why is this not here? Okay, fine. Uh, capital bus. Capital. I forgot about this. I know you can check it here, but I just forgot about this. Capital bus here. I probably should have this footpath delivering mechanical components, but in this case it's not. So the last mechanical components are going to be delivered here, and technically the nuclear power plant is going to be operational. Um, this doesn't need to be finished, so what I'm going to do now, uh, the, the, the power plant is done, what I'm going to do now is create a nice road... Road, war, road warrior. Uh, road over here. It's going to be done by automation. Now, abomination that I was talking about is the nuclear fuel production. So what I wanted to do here is nuclear fuel production. Uh, that's going to be under factories because uh, I don't even I don't even know if we have any. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we. I still subscribe to Mauser NATO's uh, nuclear fuel production or nuclear industries. Here we go. Uh, I rare, no, no, this is rare earth elements. This is also interesting thing, uh, factory. Um, quickly, there's a rare, rare bauxite, rare uranium, and a rare iron refinery. This is where you can use gravel in order to get the resources from the ground, like uh, ore, bauxite, and uh, sorry, uh, iron ore, iron, bauxite, and uranium from gravel. It requires enormous amounts of gravel, uh, but it's like rare earth uh, uh, processing plant. Uh, any of these guys processing? The, what, what I was thinking of initially, having a truck or two just for local supply for this nuclear power plant, to have a small uh, uranium oxide into nuclear fuel processing facility. I bet most of you is going to be like appalled by this idea but also this is the fastest way i can see of us having nuclear fuel now we have a nuclear power plant and none of you none of you complain about this game as much as i do and you just fail to see any downsides of this game and this is 
This is not fair. This is not fair. I sound like an... A uh, grumpy guy who's complaining about stuff and as soon as you guys see uh, any issues with this game um, You just turn the blind uh, blind eyes now Let me see you criticize this game for not being able to implore import nuclear fuel. Tell me why Why? Um, okay, can we import uranium hexafluoride? Ah frigate Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I expected. Uh, how big is this? Not too big. Do you have industrial connections? You do. Uh, so technically we would be able to build uh, industrial connections like this. Okay. Uh, what about the vanilla ones? Let's see. Let's see if Uliki can run away back to a vanilla. Uh, vanilla when the mods are too expensive or challenging. So we have here uranium hexafluoride production, uranium conversion plant that uh, produces um, from chemicals and uranium oxide, uranium hexafluoride. Okay, uranium hexafluoride, as far as I remember, is a container as well. Same as nuclear, maybe I'm wrong. These are barrels. Yeah, I think uranium hexafluoride is in containers. So if I build, let's see how much vanilla costs. So what's what with vanilla? Um, we have energy related metallurgy fossil fuels in I love I love the name of fossil fuels it's it's quite cool energy electricity uh, alcohol miscellaneous uh, fossil fuels metallurgy okay uh, I'm missing something general transportation cargo storage energy for citizens industry okay so would this energy thing be energy or uh, or industry because we have heating and electricity electricity would be production of electricity we have cooling tower and nuclear power plant okay obviously it's not here maybe it is I just missed it miscellaneous you wouldn't have something important as that in miscellaneous. How is chem... Okay, plastics... Okay, it kind of is. Okay, my bad. Metallurgy. Boxides. No, this is advanced industry. Okay, so this is where you're hiding. Okay, nuclear fuel fabric. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, come on. How, how, how much do you produce? Uh, 100 kilos of nuclear fuel per day. Okay, how much do you need? You need... 30 kilos. I need a third of that. Okay, so back to the mods. Mod section is where we're gonna find happiness. We have nuclear fuel. You produce. Uh, oh boy. You produce only. F oh no, 140. Really? That's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's nuclear fuel. Yeah, this, this one needs to be here. This one would need to be here. It's connected directly to the power plant, so this would be probably the best location for it. And this one produces 140 kilos. That's a lot. And then we go for advanced industries, 140 kilos. And then, oh, right here. Uh, this one produces 900 kilos. No, this is fuel. Uh, 100 kilos. Okay, vanilla one is bigger and produces less. I think this is reasonable. I think this might be reasonable. What about industrial? I, I'm trying to squeeze this one in here and then another one next to it. But having this kind of industry around here, I think it's it should be out of the question. It shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be uh, building so much industry here. And probably I was hoping to build nuclear industry over here. Oh, come on. Seriously? Again? Fine. Okay, fine. Uh, let's get him all the way here. And uh, where is this bus? There was this should be a red bus on the way here. Here we go. And you can go and refuel somewhere. Right, so my plan was to have a small uranium hexafluoride, sorry, nuclear fuel production facility, but this looks to be impossible. So we have a nuclear power plant and no way of powering it. You know what I'm going to do now? Import directly to the... Fa I'm kidding, I won't. Uh, we're going to speed up construction of our nuclear industries. So we're going to be focusing on the Tom St. Thomasburg uh, a little bit more, a much, much more. I'm much 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 more uh, infrastructure here we're gonna have to finish it as soon as possible uh, we're gonna have to have a nuclear fuel production facilities as soon as possible so we're gonna start planning for this 
Yeah, why the hell not? Let's go, let's do it now. Okay, nuclear industries. Uh, we already saw that the vanilla ones. You know what? Let's play with vanilla. I, we have we have those Mr. Mauser nados. Uh, it's uh, criticism is sometimes warranted, but because it's all all the industries they look really dirty and uh, maybe they should, maybe they shouldn't. That's personal opinion. But let's start. So. We're gonna have uranium mines. Uranium mines, uh, uranium is all the way here. So obviously this is gonna be a different transport system to uranium mines. But let's go and build a couple of those uh, with potentially conveyor belts going downhill. I don't know if we're gonna build trains. We This is gonna be open for discussion. So guys, if you have... Oh, frig it. You're serious? This is how you're gonna play? Really, even here, we're going to have to have the excavators. Okay. Obviously, we're going to have to have a new industrial area. Well, construction area over here. Well, um, leveling area. I think I'm going to stick to the nuclear industries to construct this area because manually we're going to assign everything. But looks like it's going to be another depot or construction office. Good question. Good question. Um, construction office. So construction industry is over here. Construction of vanilla. I'm gonna be doing vanilla buildings. So why the hell not? Uh, can I please have something like flat? I know. I know. We are gonna need demolish this road. We are gonna need a petrol station here as well. So let's start with this mud roads. How much do you need? How long it takes you for you to be built? Nuclear two and the nuclear bus straight away get people here now yeah let's get people here now should i be sourcing people here maybe uh i need to finish this distribution oh sorry the the car the vehicle depot for us to be able to uh, for me to start the public transport system in uh, st thomasburg uh, and i will wait for that to to start so first thing what i'm gonna do is uh, finish this up uh, i'm gonna plan for a couple of petrol stations i need to be careful because somewhere around here we might need uh, to cross over on the other side of the railroad well no, not somewhere everywhere we need a train station as well that's gonna deliver people we need to plan for all of this stuff so if we have nuclear industries nuclear industries so this would be uranium processing plant how much uranium can you take 100 tons how much do you mine 20 tons so we need oh no this is uh, you per worker Seven and uh, seventy-five tons. Okay, so this is enough. This oh no, this is no no no. One mine can be uh, scaled down to two uh, nuclear processing. I will start small. I know, I know. You need to calculate all of this. We had a discussion with uh, Manuel in the comment section in the where I personally probably hold the nuclear power in this game not in real life in real life it's even better but in this game to a high pedestal with reason or without reason i'm not really sure we'll see the time will tell but for me nuclear fuel is really important i wouldn't want to export it we didn't talk about this uh, previously uh we kind of we did but uh, still uh we have money here like even okay i know i know you need to buy every single blueprint in the game so you don't have money but we have money and the money um can easily be uh, uh well we're we, we hopefully we're gonna earn money like for example we have a, a bitumen tanker here going up and down and the full bitumen tanker full of bitumen is I don't even know how much. This is 850. Let's see. Where are the finances now? Here on the left. Uh, finances. Uh, exports. No prices. No prices. Here we go. Bitumen is 8 times 6. Oh, crap. I, I'm totally bl blocked here. Uh, 40. I forgot. Crap. 46? 44? No. Jesus. Uh... I think I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> no, so the full tanker of, of bitumen is quite quite expensive. It's going to be around 4 million, I believe. Uh, we have bitumen. We have bitumen in this storage. This is pre-storage for our uh, uh, loading for the rest of the country. We need to empty this because we can't produce new fuel if we don't. Uh, workers here working fine. Okay, this is totally different topic. Uh, it's... 46 but uh 
what I was trying to do here. I was trying to calculate the, the, the nuclear fuel. So the, the money is not a problem. And I probably don't want to create so much nuclear fuel that I will be tempted to export it. I would like to have like three nuclear power plants, at least in the beginning. So three nuclear power plants. I would like to have them. Uh, and I would like to supply them with fuel. Of course, I can calculate the trickle down from how much we need, how much we need to produce and all that stuff. But for now, I will go go this way just to keep this uh, keep this uh, going. I would like to have one of these processing facilities somewhere. So it can be on any side. Uh, we will have to have a lot of storage. You can see here that they Oh, right, right, right. These industries don't have conveyor belts. Well, why would they? Because they have... Ooh, wait. So the, the, the uranium hexafluoride can be transported because this is this is creating uranium hexaf... No, sorry, the uranium oxide. This can be and should be delivered by uh, forklifts, right? So we can have forklift, uh, uh, for forklift place here. What's with these? This is a bus. I need to start sourcing people in Saint Thomasburg. Uh, this is, oh, this is the nuclear too. Doesn't matter. It just needs. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It should, and no, that doesn't matter. The nuclear bus as well. Right. So. Um, uh, Forty-eight. What was wrong with me? It's forty-eight. Six times eight. Wow. Oh, this is the longest blockade I had. Uh, right. So um, I'm I'm not good at math. I really am not, and I don't like math. I love physics. I actually studied physics, but math part of the physics was always a little bit, you know, on the slow side. But the, uh, I, this was the longest time I it took me to calculate two numbers. Probably multitasking and especially having recording this during the break at work. So it's I don't have a clear head. So. Uh, right, so we have these industries here, and we need to f uh, we need to place our industries that it's um, connected to each other. We don't have to, but it would be a good thing to have. So we can we can start. Let's see, F three, no F two. Uh, we can't really see well here during the winter times, but this looks like a like a valley here. Uh, building it over here might be a little bit challenging because. As soon as you get off these two road railroad systems, it's steep hillside. So, can we do it like this? Can we build a big conveyor belt system delivering all of this over here? Probably we can, but I won't be able to do it in this episode. So, something like this. Because this is where it needs to come from. And then let's go for uranium conversion plant i need to do the math i need to uh, actually i don't because of this 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 should be fine uh what about this it can be connected directly but if we can i will build forklifts here probably i should go for a storage as well and then we have nuclear fabrication plant i need to do the math and also uh, i know that this uranium hexafluoride cannot be transported by forklifts as far as i, I remember uh, and if we can, if we can can transfer this, I will transfer this with the forklifts. And then here I would put a train station. So this is what I would build here: train, cargo depot, station. And there we go. Platform, small, doesn't really matter. This should be fine. And we can have the public transport system. And we're going to break one of the biggest rules that Mr. Dennis told us. Don't mix your cargo traffic with... I don't know if I'm going to break it. We'll see. Cargo traffic with your uh, with your uh, public transport system. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, uh, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell. Ring it. Comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support our channel, you have the description of the video. Have a nice Thursday, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.